You know, for those of you who have never been in the recovery community, I'll, I'll talk to whoever is out there. If you've never had the privilege and the honor to work with people in recovery, this is a little peek in. Um, for the last 28 years, my life is about treating substance abuse and mental health. And substance abuse and mental health is in every community. But it's evolving, it's changing. It stops with someone like Jim Gillen getting up there and saying, I'm in long-term recovery and my life is better than it's ever been. And people go, wow, he looks good. It continues with our peers going into the emergency room and the nurses and the security guards going, look at the respect then the timeliness that people come here to show up to help another human being. That's a glimpse of the world in recovery. It's about the rally for recovery where people volunteer their time strictly just to come out to celebrate life. Not the losses, but the life. You know, today is about hope. I, I have listened intently to every single one of these videos and everyone has a message. But first and foremost, for those who are not in recovery, you need to know what kind of courage it takes to do this. To come out professionally, personally. Uh, so far this morning, I've seen these commercials three times in five minutes. It was absolutely wonderful. But you are going to be celebrities in a matter of time. But to come out publicly and say, listen, I know I was sick, I got better, and I still have work to do. Come along with me. That is a message that I've listened to for 28 years. Privileged. You will be getting a glimpse of it. For the eight individuals that took this risk, my personal message for you is when you give from the heart, you will get back tenfold. You are celebrating truth. You are being honest with yourself. And for so long, our recovery community, with stigma, with with society was afraid to come out and say, I hurt, I had a disease. But now we look at the disease of recovery, a disease of addiction as a disease, and recovery as a recovery from any other disease people have experienced in their life. And you are all making that happen. So I am privileged to be part of you. I'm also privileged to send my sincere celebration with you of life from the Department of Behavioral Health and I also want to throw out a challenge. I would like other people to come forward. I would like other people. The director, when we had um, the Hope Forum back in December, he put out a challenge that once a month we would video someone from, try to get almost every city or section of the state and have someone from recovery to come out and do exactly this. So we would have 12 videos by time of the rally for next year. So if there's a professional out there or there is a person in recovery that wants to share a message, I want to hear it because I want other people to hear it next year when we're standing at Rally for Recovery. This has got to continue. This is great work. I just want to say one more thing to the individuals that did, that did take the risk to do this. A fear faced is a fear erased. So nine of you erased to fear and this set the example for other people to come forward. That's how stigma is broken. That's how communities come together and heal. Look around. Watch the response of what this happens to. People are gonna know that treatment is available, that recovery is possible. And you today are our heroes. Thank you.